Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the release dates for The Rise of Skywalker on home and digital. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding Star Wars Coffee for the first time, be sure to always hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Star Wars Coffee on Twitter and Twitch, and don't forget to check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise. Links are in the description below. Do it! And now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. The Rise of Skywalker is out of theaters at this point in all likelihoods depending on where you live, but the movie was able to cross the 1 billion mark which is what Disney was going for. It seems to me that Disney assumes that each Star Wars movie should cross the 1 billion mark, which at this point with the saturation of the comic book sci-fi fantasy genre in theaters, I would say that that's probably not a realistic estimate in the future going further, which hopefully doesn't influence their sway with upcoming Star Wars films and media. But besides that, there have been some rumors and some leaks about the release dates for the Rise of Skywalker coming to digital and all of the many, many collectible versions from different retailers. So we're going to take a look at that today. This article comes to us from Star Wars Newsnet. This is about a month old at this point, but I wanted to make sure that all of this wasn't going to be changing or they weren't going to push it back like they did with the audiobook for the Rise of Skywalker, which actually ended up being canceled. So with that, Let's take a look at the release dates for the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So here are the retail exclusive 4K Blu-ray covers for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, as well as potential release dates for the digital and Blu-ray. Before we get to the covers and different versions, a bit on the potential release dates for the digital and physical versions of home and video release. I believe that the movie will arrive on digital March 31st and on 4K slash Blu-ray April 14th. Walmart lists a delivery date of April 17th for the Rise of Skywalker pre-orders that will ship on April 13th. Now typically Blu-rays are released on Tuesday, so I believe the movie will come out Tuesday the 14th, unless for some reason they change their patterns and release it on a Friday. Both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi came out on Tuesdays, so I think April 14th is the date. Like previous releases, the movie will likely be available for digital purchases two weeks prior, so March 31st. I am not sure what Disney's plan is regarding for the film's release on Disney+, Plus, but if I had to guess, they'll try to push the media sales of the film first before making it available on the streaming service as an incentive for the fans to buy the film. The Target exclusive 4K edition is available for pre-order and priced at $34.99. Here is the cover, let's take a look at that, which has a very classic A New Hope style poster feel to it, as well as brief description for some of the special features on the packaging. Limited edition includes filmmaker gallery book and exclusive bonus content, 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray and digital code. The Best Buy Steelbook is available for pre-order as well, also priced at $34.99. The cover features a masked Kylo Ren, seemingly split between the light and the dark on the rainy surfaces of the Death Star 2 wreckage, which was just a changed image used in the promotional that they used at the D23 poster with Rey and Kylo on the Death Star 2 wreckage with Palpatine overhead. This is that same image with a little different tinkering to it to make it the steelbook cover for Best Buy. The regular Blu-ray for Target and Best Buy and all retailers is being advertised with a theatrical poster for the film, no surprise there, which we imagine is what the cover will be for the regular version and priced at $24.99. For fans in the UK, Zavi is showcasing an $80 collector's edition 3D Blu-ray set. So if you want that, it looks like it's a steel type packaging with Kylo Ren on it and then a First Order Stormtrooper on it. So it's a little bit of a two-part deal and either that or it's front and back. Not really too much information on that. However, on I went and checked this out since it is a month old at this point. The release date when this article came out was actually there. And on Star Wars Newsnet, they have a screenshot of it, which I'm glad they do because I forgot to take a screenshot of it. And it is showing the potential release date, and this is from the Walmart website. Uh, the arrives Friday, April 17th. So that, that much is accurate because as it would ship a couple days before that. However, if you want something that's not included in this article, if you want the Skywalker Saga, which they made this announcement about a month ago, you can get that 9 collection. 
on digital copy, 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, only at Best Buy. This really fancy Skywalker Saga box set, this really nice box set with the Death Star on it, with the Skywalker Saga on the bottom right corner and Star Wars logo on the left corner. Pulling that out to receive this like steel looking Star Wars The Skywalker Saga collector's book with all of the discs on it. And this thing is actually crazy. So you can get that if you want, if you just want to get them all done at once instead of going out to buy each individual re release of all of the movies now. You can get it for $250 exclusively at Best Buy. And this is the craziest part. You can even finance the Star Wars box set at $41.67 a month for six months. So if you can't just afford the Skywalker Saga Blu-ray 4K digital bundle and you have to have it as you're an avid Star Wars collector, you can finance it. I don't recommend that. I recommend buying it in cash. But you can finance it if that is something that suits your fancy. So... The description of this thing is nuts. The collection features the wonder of the entire Star Wars saga, capturing the moment from a young Anakin Skywalker's descent into the dark side to the rise of the Resistance and their struggle to restore peace in the galaxy. The story that electrified a generation comes to a striking conclusion. Which is interesting, because whoever wrote that description for Best Buy needs to take a look at Star Wars again, because it electrified three generations, because it's been made over a span of 40 years. However, uh, that besides the point, just let me know which one you guys are going to be getting in the comment section down below. I'm a digital guy, so I already pre-ordered my copy on iTunes to get those iTunes extras. And that is likely to come two weeks prior to the actual release date. And as to the Disney Plus thing, a little speculation on my end about it, is I would say it's going to be at least a month or two weeks at the minimum after you can get the Steelbook in just the regular DVD. Because they want to maximize as much money as they can out of it. And especially Disney, since this was the lowest grossing film of this trilogy, much like uh, Return of the Jedi was. And the only reason that Revenge of the Sith wasn't is because it showed Anakin's descent to the dark side, which was the whole hinge of that trilogy to begin with. So that would be my guess, is you're going to have to wait at least a month or something. But it would likely come in 4K, if you want to wait that long. But that wraps things up for me here in this video. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.